Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shai, Kol Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachah Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barachah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, on the way we worship the Father and the Son. Dabanas to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace, blessings, salutations to all your brothers preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Mathathia from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And I'm um, not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet. You know, I got a million and one thoughts running through my head, man. You know, uh, uh, Evelyn D. Rothschild, right? He uh, uh, kicked the bucket the other day, you know. And I'm saying that with a big-ass smile on my face, man. You know, we got class tonight, Lord's will, man. We can... You know, pop a bottle to that. Um, Queen Mum just recently passed not too long ago, right? Uh, about a year and a half, almost two years. Her husband, quote unquote, Prince Philip, kicked the bucket. His old ass croaked as well, man. You know, and these devils. <laughs> now these devils in the heavens, man, looking at our heavenly father, right? With all his glory, as it is written in Daniel, the seventh chapter, right? That white woolly hair, you know, that that dark uh, uh, brown skin, right? And they understand that their whole nation is going into captivity, man. Beautiful, it's beautiful, right? Uh, I've seen a couple of uh, posts and different things that brother shared. You know, uh, Justin Trudeau, which is the prime minister of uh, of Canada, this devil. Is the first world leader to participate in a in, in a drag show, <laughs> right? Not only that, but man, what man, what eastern state was that? Was it Massachusetts or Maine? Don't quote me on it, but um, one of those states just elected their uh, uh, uh their first uh, uh um <laughs> LGBT governor, man. You know, alphabet crew, a female carpet muncher, as we say, man. Right. And it's a vexation to the spirit, but it's a beautiful thing to witness because we're at the end of this, man. You know, and, the, and these are just a little bit of the thoughts that was running through my mind. I know I wanted to put something on wax, you know, without further ado. Like I said, I, there's nothing planned. This is just all through the spirit, you know, and um. This is the book of uh Second Andrew six, if I'm not mistaken. Cause what's happening is these old devils dying out, and once again they haven't escaped their judgment. As it is written. Slock you. As it is written in the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. Matter of fact, let's grab that first. This is Ecclesiastes. Chapter three. In verse 15, it says that which hath been is now and that which is to be hath already been and the most high requireth that which is past, man. You see, so these devils died in their old age, but yet all that wickedness they did throughout their life. The Lord, Lord requires that. He requires that, man. Right. You see, because there is going to be. A resurrection, man. And the resurrection means a thing rise. Right? Whether the Lord put the spirit back into these devils. Before the missiles drop. Right? So they can partake in the judgment. So they can hide. Uh, well, 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 the elite gonna hide down in bunkers, man. You know? But uh, more than likely... Uh, these devils will be reborn back into the kingdom in chains, man. In chains. Right? So they can experience a lifetime of slavery, of ass whooping. Right? Because I had mentioned that there is going to be a resurrection. This is the book of Acts 24. <clears throat> and I started 14. But this I confess unto thee. That after the way which they call heresy, which the they in the context of this scripture, Paul is talking about the wicked scribes and Pharisees who were trying to accuse him. 
right? Because Paul is pretty much in court right here in this chapter. And he's defending himself, right? But it says, which they call heresy, so worship I the power of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets, and have hope toward the Most High, which they themselves also allow, that there shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust, man, you see? So we all shall live again, man, right? Because the, the, the spirits that the Lord has created, that he put within us, within these uh, uh, human beings here on this earth, these spirits are recycled. According to the book of uh, Second Edges, right? Let me hold that on deck, Lord's will. I can come back to that. This is Second Edges 4. So like, let me just pre uh, proofread it, make sure this is the one I want. Yep, I'm going to start at 37. The second edge is 4 and 37. It says, By measure hath he measured the times, and by number hath he numbered the times. And he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. So everything happens in his, in his said measure, right? Meaning the Lord don't move this or stir that until the fullness of his word is complete. So everything is happening in the stages that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai has laid them out, right? Verse 38. Then at like when dominoes, uh, for, uh, dominoes, <laughs> dominoes fall. The last domino can't fall until what? Until that, until that first one is hit, man. And then there's a chain reaction where it's the same thing with these prophecies. It's the same thing with how the Lord disposed you know the parts of the world right <clears throat> it says verse 38 then answered i and said O lord that bearish rule even we all are full of impiety and for our sakes peradventure it is that the floors of the righteous are not filled because of the sins of them that dwell upon the earth so he answered me and said go thy way to a woman with child and ask of her when she hath fulfilled her nine months if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her then said I, no, Lord, that can she not. And he said unto me, in the grave, the chambers of souls are like the womb of a woman. <laughs> right? So it's a process. You see? For like as a woman that travaileth, make it haste to escape the necessity of the travail. Even so do these places haste to deliver those things that are committed unto them. So there's a process, man. The Lord has likened his judgment unto a ring. Is that is that the same one? No, it might be a different chapter. This is second Edges five and forty two. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. Like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. So everything goes full circle, man. Right? So those spirits that died, there's a certain timeline that the Lord has ordained that those spirits be in the heavens until they come back down here on the earth. You see? So going back, Paul spoke about what? There should be a resurrection of the dead both of the just and unjust. And when you read this in another translation, it plainly says. Right here, the NIV. And I have the same hope in God as these men themselves have that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the wicked. You see that? So when you go into this word unjust. It's the Greek word adikos. It says descriptive of one who violates or has violated justice. Did not Esau do that? Unjust, unrighteous, sinful of one who deals fraudulently with others. Deceitful. Going down here, Strong's definition, unjust by extension, wicked by implication, treacherous, specifically heathen, unjust, unrighteous, man. 
right? So all spirits come back, man. All spirits come back, right? Whether they were righteous or whether they were wicked. You see? So those devils, hasn't they haven't escaped their judgment, man. Matter of fact, our forefathers understood that. This is the book of 2 Maccabees. 6. This is the account of uh, one of our forefathers, Eleazar. Verse 18. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man and of a well-favored continence, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. So they held him down and tried to force feed him swine. Right? But as you read, he spat it out and, 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 and he decided to go to the torment instead of eating that 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 abomination right but this is the point let's jump down to um matter of fact I, i'll read it through so so we can understand you know uh this verse 19 but he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment as it behooved them to come that are resolute to stand out against such things as are not lawful for love of life to be tasted. And we should be uh, 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 within the same mentality, man. Right. Something as as small as eating swine, which is not small in, in, in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. The scriptures speaks about how there uh, is not a light thing to do against the laws of the Lord. This is 2 Maccabees 4 and 17. For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of the Most High, but the time following shall declare these things, man. Right? And it was going into the judgment that the Lord brought upon Jake during the time of the Greeks. Well, during this time, man, the Lord is going to show that it's not a, <clears throat> a light thing to sin against him. And we fully going to understand that, man, when all hell is breaking loose out here. This is back in 2 Maccabees 6, verse 21. But they that had the charge of that wicked feast for the old acquaintance they had with the man, taking him aside, besought him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as was lawful for him to use and make as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king. So here it is. They like, look, OK, man, he ain't finna eat the swine. Fuck, man. OK, well, go bring some lamb. Go bring some lamb and act like. It's the swine from off the, off the sacrifice, right? This is this is this is what they uh, 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 suggested to him, right? Verse twenty two, that in so doing he might be delivered from death, and for the old friendship with them find favor, right? So they like, look, man, you know what? Go get some you can that you can eat. Go get some lamb or some turkey, and act like it's the swine from the sacrifice, and then. We'll leave you alone. We ain't even got to worry about nothing, right? But let's see. Let's see our forefather mentality. Verse 23. But he began to consider discreetly and as became his age and the excellency of his ancient years and the honor of his gray head, whereon he was whereon he was come and his most honest education from a child or rather the holy law made and given by the heavenly father. Therefore, he answered accordingly and willed them straight ways to send him to the grave. So to sum it up, he said, fuck you, niggas, kill me, man. And once again, we have to pray for this same spirit upon us, man. Because we're going to get to the, uh, uh, the, the key point of his reason in verse 24. For become, if not our age, said he in any wise to disassemble, right, to be a hypocrite, whereby many young persons might think that Eleazar being four score years old and 10, four score is 80 and 10, that's 90 years old, right? Being four score years old and 10, we're now gone to a strange religion. And so they, through my hypocrisy and desire to live a little time and a moment longer, should be deceived by me and I get a stain to my old age and make it abominable, right? So he's reasoning like, man, I'm not finna have these young people go off, man, by looking at me. Right. And I get a stain to my honor. This is the point right here. Verse 26. For though for the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, yet should I not escape the hand of the almighty, neither alive nor dead, man. You see that? So even though these 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 devils died, 
They haven't escaped the judgment of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you know? That's why the scriptures tell us, fear not him who can destroy the body. This is the book of Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell, man. Which is why you see people born on the earth with certain defects. Right? Some people, uh, hey, is this one uh, Hamite, African, a couple years ago, man. You know, um, I, I, I think, I think. This, this girl died, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, she lived her life in a bucket, man. You can Google that, man. Girl, uh, girl head in a bucket. You know, this Hamite, this Hamite chick was alive, man. And she lived in a bucket. That's 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 fearing you. How about Shami Shai, man, who can destroy both body and soul in hell? put us in a in a fucked up pre uh, predicament in a situation that we can't get ourselves out of man some people are born without a bottom half of their body just 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 different you know born with certain sicknesses and ailments man or even conditions man look at the condition we're in it speaks about how death is better than bitter life and continual sickness man and look, look at us here in America. And that name itself, America, means bitter. But we understand that we're suffering these things because of our sins. And that these heathens, starting with Esau, Edom, their sins is about to be visited, man. You see, they about to be in hell as it is written in the parable in the book of Luke. The rich man being in hell, being in torments, lifted up and saw Lazarus. Right? Comfort it. See? That's what these devils understand now. They, now they're in the heavens. They understand that we got next. That Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Hoo-wee. Can't even put it into words, man. I just quote the Psalms where it says, uh, 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 um, the Lord have done great things for us. Then the heathen shall say, the Lord have done great things for them says then were then was our mouth full of laughter man and that's just, and that's right around the corner man that's right around the corner you see and it's being understood more and more man right matter of fact now it's time to go to that uh that that, that second address the second address six and Let's start at, uh, man, let's start at 20. The second Ezra 6 and 20. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. And this, and, and, and this, this world has begun to vanish. Right? This place is CTD. As it is written in the book of Jeremiah, we would have healed Babylon, but we have, but we have not healed her. Forsake her. Roughly paraphrasing, right? I believe it's the 50th chapter. It could be the 51st chapter. It ain't no, it ain't no coming back for this place, man. Then will I show these tokens? Yeah, these signs, these signs are being seen, right? The uproars of the people. Uh, hey, the, we had a, um, a, a lunar eclipse a couple days ago, man. Hey, the same day that devil died, man. Right? These are all signs, man. It says the book shall be open before the firmament and they shall see all together. And people are waking up more and more. They're seeing more and more. There's discussions everywhere about this, man. A young brother uh, uh, in the Chicago cat, he just shared uh, in, in our group. He shared in our group that his rib, uh, uh, she she's in college. And that um, the college professor did a whole uh class for lack of a better word on who the real israelites are man and she had called the brother up and he was listening on the phone and he was saying how the students were were, were saying like man it gotta be true why are they so mad if it's not true you know <laughs> so here it is you know they having this discussion in college classrooms man these but the books is open and the elect 
are going to get uh, guided to the proper doctrine, man. Which is what we teach here at Great Millstone, start with our apostles and elders. It's just true. So the books is open, right? And it's accessible on the Internet. That's what it means uh, open before the firmament. According to Psalms, the 19th chapter, right? But this verse 21 and the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old and they shall live and be raised up. Right. They got your premature children. So now today in today's time, we got the technology right to keep those children alive now, man. You see. So this is prophecy, man. And it's letting us know. The time. We would be in when all these things would be taking place. <laughs> and we in that time. And as it's written in Daniel 12, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase. Many running to and fro. Look at uh, uh, people traveling from one end of the earth to the other in record time, man. That was unheard of in the ancient world. Now you got uh, uh, jet planes, right? You got bullet trains, <laughs> you know? All you got to do, if you got an iPhone, you could talk to Siri. I think that's that fucking robot name, you know, or, 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 or uh, uh, Google. You can look up anything with, 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 just, hey, with just speaking now, man, or just typing it in. You see? Verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And we're coming into those times. People thought it was a joke. Bear shelf Biden and and they want to laugh and send memes. Well, it's going to come a point in time where it ain't going to be a joke, man. Those shelves, it's really going to be empty. That's the storehouses. The storehouses are these different grocery stores. And suddenly they're going to be empty, man. Then what these people are going to do? Verse 23, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. And that's your alarm system, man. Right. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in field with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run. So it ain't gonna be no running water either. So these are the times we coming into. And the only way we can be protected from, from, from these things so that our, our waters can be sure, right? As it is written, see? While the storehouse is empty, meaning these people ain't gonna have nothing to eat or nothing to drink, the Lord's servants will be taken care of, man. That's why it's uh, of the utmost importance that we walk in, 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 in this word in sincerity and in truth. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Why? Because there ain't going to be nothing out here for these people to eat, man. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. You got the rivers running dry, right? That prophecy just said that uh, 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 um, the water, uh, uh, the faucet's not going to run, right? So what these people going to do, man? As for us, shit, we going to rely, we going we gonna to stay upon you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? As it is written in Isaiah the 10th chapter. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. You see that? So these people are going to be left out here through. But the Lord said he's going to take care of those that believe in him, man. As it is written in Sirach 2 and 10, right? Let's get this munition. This Isaiah 33. And 14, the sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites, meaning the actors, people that say they with this, but really ain't. Right. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? Right. Meaning the destruction to come upon this place. And once again, before the destruction, all these different calamities that's going to be upon this place, man. Right. So basically they saying who's going to be delivered. This verse 15. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that despiseth the gain of oppressions that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes. 
that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munition of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure, man. You see? So those who are walking in truth, right? Walking in the word in sincerity and truth. They're going to be protected. They're going to have food to eat. They're going to have water to drink. The Lord is going to make sure that those men and their families are taken care of, man. Right? While everyone else is afraid, while everyone else is surprised of these things that's coming on the earth. Let's go back now. Second Andrew 6 and 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape. And see my salvation in the end of your world, man. And that's what we hoping to be a partaker of that. We hoping to escape, right? And to see the end of this, this wretched, wicked society, man. As it is written in Sirach, the 25th chapter. It says, there be nine things in my, uh, I judge in my heart to be happy. And the 10th I will utter with my tongue. Him that liveth, uh, him that liveth to see the joy of his children. I'm roughly paraphrasing it. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies, man. Beautiful time we living in. May Yahweh Yahweh keep his Holy Spirit upon us that we may endure unto the end and see the destruction of this place with our eyes. As is prophesied in Psalms, the 91st chapter. It says, only with thy eyes shall thou see the reward of the wicked. Verse 26. And the men that are received shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth. And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. And this starts in the spirit first and foremost. Right? We're being renewed through the Holy Spirit. We put off the old conversation. Now we're putting on the new man. Right? That's us being changed, turned into another man, turned into another creature, into another meaning. Right? But it's going to be translated to physically when our Lord Yahweh Shai returns. That physical change that Paul spoke about in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, right? According to Philippians 3, when the Lord returns, he's going to change this vile, wretched body that we have. And he's going to liken it unto the glorious body that he has in the heavens, man. Verse 27, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome in the truth which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared, man. And we're in the presence of that, man. And it's only going to increase more and more and more until deceit is fully quenched out of the earth, man. You know, but Lord's will, I, I hope this was edifying. You know, just something, you know, that was on my mind. The Wadi Al-Basham Yawashai, you know, that um, he guided my thoughts, you know, and, and, and allowed me to articulate you know, um, what was in my head, man. You know, so once again, Thawadi Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.